Good morning, everybody, from the Today Show Cafe Cafeteria Place. We decided to stop in here this morning and have a little bit of breakfast. Not too bad. Not too bad. Starting the day off right. This is actually really, really good. This is not my choice. I am not choosing to come in here, but Living Dead Girl's with me, and uh, she's looking for a specific shirt, and it looks like she found it. It's Psycho Hello Kitty. Did you see this Hello one? Kitty did, did you see this one? They have a Jaws. I saw the Jaws. And did you see Back to the Future? Yeah, it's right here. They have two of them. Who knew that Hello Kitty was so retro? We are about to have some fun this morning. And guess what? We're gonna take you along for the ride. We're gonna go ahead, have some fun, hit some rides, eat some food. And I'm actually gonna try and make a decent video today, a theme park video, a decent theme park video, which has never been done on my channel. I don't think I could zoom. They keeping you trapped up there? I still suck at charades, oh my God. <laughs> See you in a little bit. Okay, she needed to come inside here. Did you see hashtag up there, greeting and meeting? You guys keep in hashtag trapped upstairs. I know, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> That's social distancing. <laughs> oh, wow. So we are in the Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show sh shop, or in, and uh, she is in here looking around at goodies. This is actually an attraction I'll never ever do again. I did it once, opening for opening, but it's not my cup of tea. But uh, I'm glad it's here. It's not a, it's it's not bad. Actually, the pre-show and the store are the best, and the museum, the Johnny Carson type museum. That, that's the best part of it. This whole ride and actually meeting hashtag. I thought there was some Halloween Horror Night props left out here on the street. And then they canceled Halloween Horror Nights. They just didn't put it away. But nope, it's the tribute store. Would you guys look at this when you step into a whole new world? It's a whole new world of Harry Potter goodness. Every time I walk through these walls, my heart just flitter flatters. I'm not kidding. It feels so amazing walking through those brick walls over there. And this is her very first time here, and uh, she's not a potter head neither. But I think her mind is a little bit blown. So for most of the day, I'm not going to be recording rides. You guys know I don't do that. But we're just going to walk around, and you're going to follow along with us in the things that we do. So far, hit a little bit of Harry Potter goodness. Right behind us, we went on the Transformers. Right now, we're just kind of kicking in the shade, waiting for a reservation for Finnegan's. It's time to eat and drink, but when is it not? So we've been here about two hours and it's already time to eat lunch. And this is what we're working with. Finnegan's. I'm going to get me my old time favorite, the shepherd's pie. They make really, really good shepherd's pie here. For adult beverages, water, and probably a hurricane. She's probably getting chicken nuggets. Yum. This, hey, you could drink out of the straw. I haven't drank out of it yet. A little. It's so yummy. We'll taste yours. It Let's see what that tastes like. like. Mr. Pitt? Mr. Pitt. 
I'm sure this tastes just like water. I was right. So you have to show the internet food. I haven't even dug in yet. She had one chicken nugget. She's done to go. I have to say, she has not eaten nothing. I just started, but she's already done. She is a very light eater, which is great, but she wants to carry everything around the park. She'll eat throughout the day, a little bit here, a little bit there, and we'll have like 10 to-go boxes riding rides. I, I, gotta, I gotta ditch some of this food. We can't be carrying food all over the park. She's not going to be happy. She's in the bathroom right now. I might have her, the lady take that away. And go, oops, I accidentally threw it away. Have to figure something out. Walking the streets in New York now? Listen to that music in the background. That's the entertainer. Reminds me of Tommy Travels. Is the entertainer copyrighted? I don't know. I don't care. A mystery something something's going on here our famous friends would love to meet you so please stick around and they will be with you shortly after they solve this mystery okay i know we just finished eating but we hang out with the scooby gang for just a little bit and which brings us into a starbucks for a s'mores beyond beauty would you look at that starbucks has a s'mores drink oh my goodness oh my hold on Oh my gosh, that is the, this is the best flavor ever, s'mores. Wow. I'm not feeling it, I kind of am. But we just got off the Simpsons ride, and if everybody knows, that ride there is hard on the body. It's hard. Oh my God. What are you doing? I'm gonna eat a donut with Millhouse. <laughs> Eating a donut with Millhouse. Take off, he's sir, go ahead, let's see you do it. You can't eat two chicken nuggets. How are you going to eat all that? That thing's bigger than your head. I'm going to put it in my backpack. God, we need a to-go box. Oh, you already got it. Oh, it's a beautiful day here in Springfield. The beer is flowing. Right over there at Moe's. Look, we've got Duff Man right here. When you say Duff... You said, I don't, I don't know. Women are like beer. They, they look good and they smell good. And you step over, <laughs> what? You step over your own mother to get to one. <laughs> and for those of you that love Back to the Future like me, it's probably my all time favorite movie. Here is a screen used DeLorean from the movie, which you look at that. But this isn't the only thing here that was screen used. In Back to the Future 3, Doc Brown built a choo-choo train time machine and it is actually here, screen used. All right, there it is. Back to the Future. Would you look at that? It's one of the main reasons to come to the park. If you don't do anything, just to come get a photo off with the car and train. It's a piece of movie history. You know you want to. You know you want to. What? Puss oh my god. Where are we? Where? 
I feel like, is this bi bikini bottom? Oh, it feels so good. It feels so good in here. Nice air conditioning in this Florida heat. That is nice. I like what this guy said. What, what, say what you said when you first walked in. Stop, stop, stop. I, Most overrated or underrated. Most overrated. Underrated. Underrated, yes. <laughs> I'm getting a shirt. Like Most a shirt. underrated oh. gift shop in all of Universal. Look at you. Definitely a lot of fun stuff to get within here. Oh. It's got calm. It's got calm. It has EP too. Awesome stuff. Look what I found in the closet. Yeah, not only great stuff to buy, but pretty awesome uh, photo opportunities. Incredible stuff here. This is actually one of the better gift shops. And it's not only ET stuff you're going to find. You down with OPP? I know this song. And I also know that my nachos are pretty much all the way gone. Pretty decent nachos here at the Hard Rock. Really tasty. Peppers. Wow, those are good. Mmm. Took a long time for that camera to flip out, but we're pretty much done with our day. Done at Universal, done with everything, sitting over here at the Hard Rock right now, enjoying a little bit of food and getting ready to head out. I know at the beginning of this video, I was thinking I'm going to make the most perfect theme park video throughout the day. Halfway through the day, it was like, what was my last video? What did I last record? And every and you had a, you wanted to go on an adventure in the video. And uh, I kind of veered off of that adventure. So today's video was not my best theme park video. That's why I know there will always be a next one. One of these days I'm going to get it right. Anyway, until the next time, I love you guys. I'm going to go ahead and sign off from the Hard Rock Universal. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Until then, peace out everybody.